India's closest celestial neighbor moon has intrigued scientists for years. What was its origin like and how it evolved over the years? Now, India's third mission to the moon, Chandrayaan-3, has provided some fascinating and crucial insights into this evolution. The findings had just been released as Chandrayaan-3 completes its first anniversary. Now, this mission was launched by the Indian Space Research Organization on July 14th last year and became the first ever spacecraft to land near the lunar south pole exactly a year ago on August 23rd. Now, the scientists from PRL Ahmedabad analyzed some of the data it collected during the mission and found evidence of a giant ocean of magma that once existed near the South Pole. Now, this is important because the findings confirm scientists' long-standing theory that the moon was once a giant ocean of magma which later cooled down. Now, if you remember, just as lander Vikram touched down on the moon on August 23rd, the rover Pragyan rolled down and travelled a distance of nearly 103 metres. It had a payload called the Alpha Particle X-ray Spectrometer, which collected this data. Now, this instrument was designed by PRL Ahmedabad. It made about 30 rover stops and took as many as 23 measurements and studied the elemental composition of the lunar soil. Now, scientists have long believed that one that moon was once a molten rock and covered by a huge ocean of magma. But they don't know how big or widespread it was or whether this ocean actually existed or not. Now, the current knowledge is completely dependent on the remote sensing data and uh, from the previous lunar missions which were undertaken by the US including the Apollo programs and Russia's lunar missions. Now, but these missions only covered the equatorial region and the mid-latitude regions of the moon. We don't know if the same findings also apply to the south pole of the moon. Now, this theory, which they call the lunar magma ocean theory, has been confirmed by the data that Chandrayaan-3 has collected. Now, this is also the first time that scientists have reported these measurements from the south pole of the moon and again provide a concrete evidence that yes, there was an ocean of magma on the south pole as well. So, that means there is a similarity in what the findings revealed from the equator. Uh, so, th that means there is a similarity in the findings that we observe from the equator as well as the south pole of the moon. The lunar composition was very much similar, which confirms scientists' theory called the lunar magma hypothesis. Now, this also suggests that uh, the, this theory basically suggests that the moon lit actually cooled down during its formation, while the less dense rocks floated to the lunar surface and became the high mountains, the heavier minerals sank to the bottom. Now, this present evidence is extremely important because this will help our scientists to determine how the moon was actually formed and evolved over the years. The scientific findings also have implications on the future exploration uh, missions which countries are now planning. The countries are now racing to set up a lunar base for astronauts on the moon. While NASA has planned its Artemis program, ISRO has also announced its moon mission where it plans to go back to the moon to collect lunar samples and bring them back to Earth. Now, these findings have come at a time when Chandrayaan-3 completes its first anniversary and India is ready to celebrate this momentous occasion with the first ever National Space Day.